Hey folks, Edge 4006 here. Just doing a video on a pistol I own already. Uh, I've owned this pistol for a while now. Done a lot of modifications to it. Um, done all the work myself. And it's a great pistol. It's an uh, Arms Core Citadel um, 1911 full size. This is what they consider a tactical because some of the options it comes with. Uh, but I've even done some more custom customizations on it. And in previous videos, I've gotten over the stuff. Quite a bit of stuff. I'm all proud of the work I did it myself, and it all works great. But we're going to do something even cooler with this gun. We're going to make it even more tactical. We're going to put on some accessories that are going to make it, uh, just one accessory that's going to really, you know, bring it out. Uh, I got some really nice grips on here, but I got some that's coming up. It's going to make this really set it off. It's going to set off this pistol. All right. All right. So now we have um, the grips installed, the Recover CC3s, and uh, these are no D green as well, if you can't tell by the camera, the, the camera light. But, um, Got them set up and they're, they feel pretty good, man. Um, I, it's pretty neat. I think this is going to turn any basic gun into, you know, give it a little more tacticalness. This one I already had set up, you know, tactical. Now it's even more, if, if you will, with the rail. Um, you know, selection of lights. You can have a lot of fun. Combination light laser. You can really make this 1911 neat. What I like to see is, I, uh, is uh, if there's in the, if there's a process already. Hopefully, maybe in a part two down the road, I'll be able to do a follow up video. And find out if there's already a holster manufacturer that's uh, making uh, holsters for these line of grips with you know your popular lights like your Surefire and whatnot, Slipstream. Um, but um, it feels real good in the hand. The grips are nice. It has these nice textured grips. That uh, these serrations here that give you a good firm grip on the hand. It feels good. Um, not offset. Doesn't feel cheesy. Doesn't feel like something threw something together like as a gimmick. This is a pretty neat concept. And uh, I can see a lot of people taking advantage of it. Like I said, this is a Arms Corp Citadel. Uh, I did put a little more money into it to, you know, you know, put some bling on it, to get it to run a little nicer to my specifications. But if you're going to go with like a basic Rock Island or a GI, and you just with a simple set of grips, you can really, t you know, turn the gun into a different gun by by having the option of, you know, doing the rail and all the accessories that are available for it. You, know, you can put a freaking um, damn bayonet, you know, that Glock bayonet you see, or that bayonet that people are using for a while, it's kind of neat. Uh, but it gives you a lot of options. Um, and then you can also take it back down, that's the beauty of it. You don't want to, you just boom, within less than three minutes, you can take it back down and have your classic pistol. So that gives it a lot of versatility. Um, I'm definitely going to recommend the product. It's been neat. Um, shooting it was fun. The way, the way I usually shoot a 1911 didn't change anything. Um, the grips are a little different. My, my other ones just are a little more, uh, and, you know, they're they're mu they're much rougher cut uh, for for texture, but it didn't change anything. The way the gun felt and the recoil and everything, it just felt just great. So if you're gonna get into that product, you can get this product at fifty dollars. You're getting a good deal. I mean, something's worth it down the road. Um, when I did put it together, the only thing I noticed is that sometimes it's the screws <clears throat> tend to protrude a little bit. I think if they came up with a little washer or shorten the screws perhaps it could be different per model um, even though these are all framed up to be pretty much the same 1911 uh, you know 1911 is the 1911 is the 1911 sometimes I think some of the, the tolerances are different which could um, cause that screw to be longer at certain ends because you don't want this thing sticking out this is sharp and it can, it, can, it, can cut, it can cut at you right here and you want that flush but if you put that flush this, this can also be loose right here so if you want it tight, you're going to have the screw protruding a little bit, and you can always modify that yourself. But all in all, everything else looks great. Uh, great product. Uh, I was very happy to review it, and uh, I do recommend somebody, you know, you guys go out and get it. Hey folks, alright, so I got the, my Citadel with the Recover 1911 grips. Um, I've left my light today, my bad. <laughs> so, but uh, I'm going to give a, you know, just a video here, just shooting it with these grips on, and how it feels so far. more mag. And we're done. Feels good. Uh, the grips are tacked, you know, they have a uh, serrations here that get let you get good purchase on the gun. Um, 
again, I've only shot, what, two magazines with it, but all in all, I don't have any complaints. It does feel good in the hand, and it's holding nice, holding a nice grip. So, we're good. Alright guys, I'm going to wrap this up. Um, do me a favor, if you liked the video, please hit like and subscribe. Uh, we're approaching 1,400 subs. Hopefully, we'll be having that giveaway real soon, and get that out of the way. And, um, man, fight the good fight. Keep your step, brother.